these, these images don't even make sense. <laughs> You know what, I always get confused with like abattoir and obituary. <laughs> that is an image of a cow being slaughtered, I guess. It makes me think of like slaughterhouses. Everyone needs to eat and know where beef comes from. A dinner plate. <laughs> so why not kill it yourself? I see a brutal murdering as well. Although I think we could probably come up with a better way of killing an animal than chopping its head off with an axe. There's such a meat-eating culture, like there's even ads. It also makes me think of my lunch, because I just had a steak. I guess that raises all sorts of different questions in terms of, you know, whether you should be a vegetarian or not. <laughs> but yeah, that reminds me of an abattoir. I did actually try and go vegetarian for a little while while I was overseas in India, and I was like, this is so good, I feel so good about myself. And um, one time I thought that my friend worked in an obituary, but it's, it turns out she worked in an abattoir. Eat lamb, it's so good for you. Eat red meat, blah, blah, blah. Why is he getting his head cut off? You don't actually have to eat it. But it still tastes so good. Why? Rest in peace, Daisy. makes me think about pirates and going on adventures around the Caribbean. It kind of reminds me of um, Victor Von Doom from Fantastic Four. But maybe because I've watched too many bad Disney films. That reminds me of like something that you'd see on the side of a toxic can. It also makes me think a little bit about poison and death. It means something like death. Oh my god! And was like staring and pointing at it, and I'm like, please don't stare at it. Just keep walking. Like, just you know, that's a dead body. Like, don't look at it. And now Shakespeare and Hamlet. Because that's mainly the skull of like metal and stuff. So music. Yeah, it's a skull. I like baguettes. <laughs> I make garlic bread out of them. No, you have to have that wrapped up. That is unhygienic. <laughs> it's just a bread roll in a handbag. It makes me think about going to France as a child. You know when you go to a bakery and some things you buy are in brown paper bags and other things come in the plastic bags? Who decides what goes in what? I went shopping today and I bought ciabatta bread. Who made that assessment? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Horse, a donkey, pinata. Reminds me of history. Well, that looks like a dog. <laughs> so, Troy. Maybe like a Trojan horse? Going to a party and smashing the effing shit out of a pinata is heaps of fun. So maybe there's lots of Romans inside of it, waiting to come out and kill everybody? We had like a Mexican party for New Year's and um, we, made, we bought a pinata and me and my brother at the end of the night we were absolutely wasted and we got like, a, we couldn't find a stick so I got a broomstick kind of wonder what's inside there already like even though it's just the black squares and I bash the fuck out of the pinata and break the boom broomstick it could also be a bit like a film camera thing kind of that was funny no one else got to have a hit it was just me <laughs> <laughs> 